Hello, welcome back to Metal Machine Shop. In the second part of my workshop hints and tips series, I'm going to show you how to case harden small components in the workshop with the minimum of equipment. If you don't already know, case hardening is used when you need a steel component to have a very hard outer shell or case, but want to leave the rest of the metal in its relatively soft, tough state so that the whole component doesn't become brittle. A typical application for model engineers is small engine cams, which need a hard wear resistant surface. These are the cams for my miniature engines and I'm going to be case hardening them in this demonstration. Case hardening is a two stage process. In the first stage we increase the carbon content of the outer shell of the component by heating it and plunging it into a carbon mixture. This is sometimes called carburisation. In the second stage we heat it again and quench in water to give a hard surface. Increasing the carbon content alone does not give the surface harden hardness and it's worth remembering that further machining can be done on the component after carburisation when the surface is still soft before quenching. Only the unmachined carburised surfaces will be hardened. So let's run through the equipment that we need. To heat the components a cheap plumber's blowtorch like this one is going to be ideal uh, this one runs on a butane propane mix. We are going to need a brazing hearth of some sort. So this one at the back here is made of cheap um, insulating bricks that cost very little uh, and can be bought from any hardware store. Um, obviously I've got some matches to light the blowtorch. Um, we're going to need something to hold the red hot components. So in this case I've got my cams threaded onto a piece of iron wire but uh, I've also got a pair of long nose pliers handy to manipulate it and hold it because I don't want to be holding that with my hands. Here is some more of the wire. Um, we need the case hardening powder itself, so th that's a bag of it there. Um, here are the instructions. Basically the powder is uh, just a crushed carbon with some other stuff mixed into it. Um, this is a little pot made from a baked bean tin cut at an angle to stop the powder blowing away. I've put the powder in it there, you can hardly see it in the in the light, but um, there is powder in there, I can assure you. Uh, the final thing we really need for the actual process itself is a tub of cold water, just an ice, ice cream tub with some water in it. Uh, and of course we need some safety equipment, so I've got some sort of leather gardening gloves, in fact these are, which are perfectly good for this job, and the obligatory safety specs, which I'll always be using for this kind of work. Just to be clear, this process is only going to work on low carbon, mild steels. It's not going to work on non-ferrous metals, of course, and probably won't work well or at all on the more exotic alloy steels. Uh, I'm also told that you can case harden iron, but I haven't tried it myself. So, let's get on with the job. I'm heating up the components to red heat in the hearth with my blowtorch. Now that they're red hot, I'm going to quickly transfer them to the powder and jiggle them around so that every surface is covered with the powder. I'm still applying the heat with the blowtorch, trying to keep the parts at red heat. The longer I keep the parts in the powder at this heat, the thicker the carburised surface layer will be. I'm going to continue heating and dipping in the powder for about five minutes to give the carbon a chance to penetrate the outer skin of the components. So now I've finished dipping the parts in the powder, so the carburisation stage is done. The parts can be left to cool at this stage for further machining if necessary. In this case there's no more machining required, so I can go straight to the quenching stage which will give the surface hardness that I want. I'll go back to the hearth and heat the parts to red heat again. Without letting them cool I'm immediately going to plunge them into the cold water to quench them keeping them in the water for a few moments until they're completely cold. And that's the case hardening process complete. And all that remains now is to move, remove the scale and polish the parts to the required finish. You can test the surface hardness using an old file. The file should skip off the surface without leaving any marks. 
Before I finish, I should just explain that what I've showed you is essentially the open hearth method of case hardening. Another method is to heat the components in a small steel container filled with the powder, but you really need a muffle furnace for this or some more sophisticated equipment, so it's a bit more involved. And of course, there's always many other ways to skin the cat. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. Uh, please leave any comments in the comments section down below and let me know if there's any other workshop techniques that you'd like me to cover. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like and see you next time. Goodbye.